The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, October 14th. It is a magical Monday edition. I'm going to scrap the normal opening here while I'm still uh, recuperating, but great to be back uh, with you. Hope everyone had a, a great weekend out there. Certainly lots of great sports. Uh, and uh, so that helped with the R&R. &R. But right now we've got the uh, look. Hey, I would love to hear from you. So uh, just to remind you, the phone number out here is 877-927-6648. And if you can't call in, we've got you covered there. Uh, you can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Uh, if you'd be so kind to put radio show question in the uh, uh, subject heading of the email, that'd be great. And, of course, in the Tiger's Den, you know, any ping will do out here. So uh, good to be back with you. I don't know if we missed a whole lot. Really, in one week's time, markets are relatively uh, – near approximately where we were trading uh, last Tuesday, give or take. So right now we've got the uh, Dow trading up 23 points. S&P is off a buck. NASDAQ's up six. So we've got a mixed bag out here. Spot volatility index is trading lower. So uh, that's trading down 75 cents, uh, nearly 5% to the downside. Gold's up eight bucks, silver 15 pennies. Uh, lead the charge to the upside dollar wise. It's Shopify. It's $13 or 4%. Uh, Tesla's up nine and change, nearly 4% as well. NetEase up nine. Regenerate Pharmaceuticals up eight. To the downside, IPG Photonics off 10 bucks. Cost Air Group, CSGP, I'm about 2% or 10 bucks. Chipotle off six. Domino's Pizza down six. So uh, we can uh, take a look at a number of things out here. Of course, I want to be able to look at what you want to uh, look at. The first request coming from uh, Ruby in the uh, Tiger's Den. She wants to take a look at oil. So let's go take a look at oil. Do it a couple of different ways out here. So I say a couple of different ways. Let's just first take a look at where Light Sweet Crude is trading in relationship to its uh, TAS market profile. So here, Ruby, is just the daily time frame out there. I don't know if there's a short term time frame that you want to. If so, let me know. We can take a look at that. But let's take a look at the bigger picture at the moment. So we can see that light sweet crude is trading with inside a bullish structured profile, daily profile out here. The bottom or support would be 51.58. The center of the box, that's where both buyers and sellers are, much closer in proximity to the bottom versus the top, which is at 56.84. And that center is at 52.75, basically the low of the day, 52.77 out there. So price was able to touch the area where buyers and sellers are. Um, and uh, so this is trading with inside that range, the range of the daily profile. Now, for all intents and purposes, it looks like what Light Sweet Crude wants to do is trade up to the top of that profile, 56.84. As long as price stays above the center level of that box, 52.75, because it's bullish in structure, should be able to push price up to the top of that box out there. If we take a look at Stevie's other charts out here, this way our white background charts, we can take a look at uh, breakout levels, we can take a look at Stevie's red line. Uh, and so this shows us that price is trading in between support and resistance. These levels are 51.50. 59 and 59.39. 59.39 is where Light Sweet Crude most recently broke down. Uh, price is trading. Stevie's uh, uh, is trading at or near Stevie's red line. The red line is actually 53.71. We're at 53.51 out there. But when we put the two together out here, Ruby, uh, Light Sweet Crude looks uh, bullish uh, to me uh, based upon the bottom that it made. So the bottom that it made was a TD setup nine count. It was testing breakout support. That level was retested. And then we take a look at what profiles are doing. They're testing level of support, the uh, center level of that uh, box. If I look at a 30-minute time frame chart out here, 
Uh, let's take a look at it. The 30 minute time frame chart gets down to wave number seven. That's letter G on my uh, screen out here. We know that markets like to make tops or bottoms when they make those seventh inning stretch moves, those wave number seven letters that are on my uh, screen out here. And uh, so the 30 minute uh, shows you that, uh, so it shows you a nice bottom. Uh, at this stage here on the 30 minute time frame, price needs to overcome 53.58. That's the top of its uh, 30 minute profile, the current. 30 minute profile and if price gets above that it just really signals what you and I were looking at on the daily time frame out there. So I hope that that uh, helps you out with regard to what we all see when we take a look at the charts of light sweet crude. So thanks so much for asking. Let's go take a look at the uh, markets try to get a feel for what are the markets doing out here. You're welcome. Uh, markets are, and by markets right now, I'm just going to focus on the ES Mini out here. Uh, if we take a look, so the S&P 500, in essence, we're just trading in between a consolidation range. The S&P, didn't, you didn't need me uh, to come back and tell you that uh, it's trading within a range, but it is trading within a range. What I'll share with you is what that range is. And that range, it was earlier this morning, was 29.51.75. Now, because we had nine consecutive closes on a 30-minute basis uh, to the upside, the, those closes each being above the close of the close four bars earlier gives us a new breakout level that's 29.59.75 so price right now trading in between support 29.59.75 and resistance which is 29.79.25 there's nothing on the chart here that will tell me or you uh, uh, which which side will win in this little bit of a tug of war out here? Uh, but uh, price is up at uh, is trading in between su support and resistance. Now, if we take a look at the NQ right now, and when I say take a look at the NQ, just the 30 minute time frame, the 30 minute time frame here shows um, that it too made a TD setup nine count topped pulled back a bit, I uh, would have to break through support. So that TD set up nine count to the upside very nicely, be not very, very nice for you and I, because from a short-term trading system, which or, or message, because if uh, you know if you're going to see some type of change in trend, you'll see that change in trend on the shorter term time frames than you will before you will on the daily time frame. So this helps us to understand, hey, where did price most recently break out and break down? Well, now we've got a new breakout level inside the NQ 78.2350. The old one was way below at 76.11. So it's nice to have this one uh, in check that we can look at. We can see that that TD set up nine count on a 30 minute basis stopped right before resistance. So we we, the message there would be bearish, meaning that price should be able to push its way down to support. 78.2350, it doesn't say it'll bust through support, says that's what it should do. Likewise, if you see a close above 78.8175, expect and anticipate that the NQ is going to head much higher out there. Yeah, much higher out there is the uh, call, but we're not making that call just yet. Now, why would I say much higher? So that's a great question. I, I don't just choose my words lightly out here. The reason I would say it would be moving much higher is because, well, two reasons. One of those reasons out here is take a look at where price is trading in relationship to its daily profile. Now, there's a profile that formed last week before I went off the air and had a little bit of surgery out there. Um, uh, and uh, price on Friday closed above the top of that box, which was 78.44. We're trading at 78.59 out here. So this would suggest headed to higher price as long as there's another close above 78.44. If we take a look at the daily time frame, we take a look at my other charts out here, let's see if we can pull those over. What else do we know? We know that uh, what price did on Friday, oh, this is the ES Mini. Sorry, I wanted to grab the NQ out there. Let's grab the correct instrument makes things a whole lot easier so when we take a look at the nq out here above stevie's red line that's really where the counter trend rally should have stopped and it didn't so the nq is suggesting higher prices on the daily and now all you got to do is watch that small resistance level on the 30 minute time frame chart steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, let's go out to Sarasota and speak with Ray. Ray, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing well. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we've got time for both. So uh, both of the uh, both of the instruments that you called about. One is Nordic American Tankers, and the ticker symbol is NAT. So Ray, tell me how I could be of help to you. Well, I've uh, been a long-term uh, holder of the stock, been trading it a lot during the last couple of years, and uh, I've accumulated a sizable position, and it just recently took off, as has all the tankers. And uh, if you look at a chart, look at the volume uh, in the last uh, couple weeks, you know, it's, uh, it's really on a, on a really strong up, up, uh, upward sure. run. I'm yes. concerned about it getting up to the nine count and what might be happening where we are now. So, um, so longer term, because you say you've accumulated, you've been, you know, accumulating a large position in this for a period of time. Uh, I guess what I would share with you is last month, the month of September, gave you a real nice buy signal. And that was uh, where price, the road's momentum indicator, price was moving lower, doing with less relative energy. And then what you got out here, Ray, was a nice bullish engulfing candle. So north of September was already signaling to you from a longer term perspective, nice bottom. As you mentioned last week, big volume in this. So that's certainly what you like to see coming off of the bottom. And what this would suggest to you over the longer haul 
that what price is targeting is the area where it most recently broke down from a monthly standpoint. That's the price level of 868 and takes you back to the April 2017 area. So longer term, this made a nice solid bottom, uh, has everything that you want, looks good, you know, says 868. Now you threw out the TD setup nine count pattern out here. And if we take a look at the daily time frame, what you're going to see from a daily perspective, today is going to be bar number five out here. Uh, so, you know, a, a top or short term top uh, could occur on bars eight, nine or 10. But you've got several days. Um, in fact, the rest of this week, I guess, till yeah, really the rest of this week, before you know if that pattern is anything to concern yourself with. There was a brand new profile that formed on a daily basis as well on Friday. And a price on Friday closed above that. And you're trading above that today. So its message is very strong out here. When I take a look at the daily on a weekly basis, you're in week five, or last week was week five, now headed into week six of a TD setup nine count. So you're weeks away uh, from an intermediate term type signal of a top. And this suggests that price is headed to 567. So let's say the scenario is that this continues moving higher, that the monthly and the weekly charts more uh, control the price action versus the daily uh, out here. Uh, watch for a nine count and whether or not that occurs before 567 or not. And I'm referring to the weekly time frame. But um, I don't see a – this all looks very positive, looks very bullish, especially because of the longer-term uh, bottom pattern that it formed out there in September. Does that help you out? That's a big, big help. I really appreciate that. Okay, and you're above all profiles, daily, weekly, and uh, monthly out there. The other instrument that you called about, uh, CRR, I think that's Carbo Ceramics. Yeah, Carbo Ceramics. So uh, tell us what you're doing here and how I can help you. Uh, right now, the stock chart doesn't look anywhere near as good as your uh, Nordic American tankers, but tell me how I can help you out with CRR. That's another one that I've uh, been involved with for the last uh, six months to a year, and uh, uh, it, it started to make a good move uh, a couple weeks ago and, and uh, pushed up to uh, close to $3 a share, but kind of rolled over. And, and I'm trying to figure out uh, where it might make sense. How far, how far can it pull back, and where should I be looking to maybe add to my position? So uh, if you're asking where to add to your position, I'm going to say right now. Right now. Uh, so yeah, so here's and here here would be the reasons why. So let's first start by taking a look at its uh, daily profiles out here. Let's look at the black. Let's look at the profiles just in general, daily, weekly, and monthly. And we can see that price is trading inside the daily and the weekly. The monthly is so scrunched up. Let's not let's forget about the monthly uh, chart out here. But from a daily standpoint, you've got support at 175. That's the bottom of the box. It just formed today. Uh, you've got resistance at about between 211 and 221. Daily ways, daily wise, and 206 on the uh, weekly. Now, the reason why I suggested that, okay, you're trying to add to your position, when should you buy, when's a good time to buy, I say now, is because it uh, looks like on Thursday this formed a TD setup nine count. Or, well, that was bar number eight. Friday was bar number nine. That confirms the TD setup nine count. You like to see the bottom form on bars eight, nine, or ten. At this stage here, um, and, and with this instrument specifically, uh, the last time that you had bar eight form the low was when it formed a real significant low. And that takes you back out here to July 26. Now, price was also moving lower, doing less relative energy, so you had that nice slingshot effect. You don't have that now. Nonetheless, what you have and what you're asking for is you've got a bottom signal. So if you're somebody that's looking to add to this position, then now is absolutely the time. Is it a guarantee that it's uh, that the solid bottom? And we won't really know until we see what happens at, at resistance. So we can see Stevie's green line currently at 211. That's about where the center of that profile is, 221 on the top of the uh, daily but um, yeah the signal now the reason why I would also say now looks like a good time you mentioned the weekly time frame chart for carbo ceramics and so what we know about carbo ceramics was that many weeks ago a couple months ago as this was moving lower this was into the July 26 time period prices moving lower doing less relative energy and then the week of August 2nd that's where you get your bullish reversal candle, your three river morning star pattern out here. So yes, price is uh, pulled back out here, but I would say it's pulled back to give you the gift of uh, your love of buying this, of adding to your position out there. 
Uh, you know, things things change if these bottoms fail, but uh, this would be the ideal time to add to the position based upon the pattern signals that you and I have. Great. That's a big help, Steve. I really appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. That's why that's why we're here. So best of luck on those uh, trades out there, and we'll look forward to speaking to you uh, soon again. Thank you very much. Have a great you day. Bet. You bet. Ray in uh, Sarasota. Uh, John is also in Sarasota. He's not on the line, but he did uh, send an email about ticker symbol OR. So let's go take a look at OR, see if we can help John out. And his question is, hi, Steve, uh, OR long. So let's take a look at it. And uh, let's again start by taking a look at this is Osisco Gold Royalties out here. So here's what we know. Price is trading right into the bottom of its daily profile, which is at 951. We're trading at 951. So it's really trading into resistance, John. If we look at the weekly, it's trading below the uh, weekly profile. And the uh, monthly is trading back into support. That right now is the top of its uh, monthly profile, 903. So a key level. I would say it's 903 from a support standpoint. Um, in the case of OR, if we look at the daily time frame, um, what's different about uh, this is nothing. See, the, the patterns that you and I use, I know this probably gets boring for you because if we're just using the same tools, we just put different instruments out here. But here's what we know about ticker symbol OR. And that is that uh, it's trying to also form a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. Now, we don't have here is the bullish reversal candle. So let's discuss that. Let's take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Let's see if we give John some uh, great information about Osisco Gold Royalties. Of course, I want to hear from you, too. 877-927-6648 or Steve at TFNN.com. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even
even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at uh, ticker symbol OR, Osisco Gold Royalties. Uh, John in Sarasota is asking whether or not he should go along. Now, John, my preference would be if we saw some type of bullish reversal candle out here, that that would give us the confirmed signal. Right now, price is traded above Stevie's red line, which is 936, but right in the resistance, the bottom of that profile. In order to take a long position in this, I'd have to see price close above 982. So 982 is the center of that bullish structured profile that is out there. The reason I say that is just even if this equity, John, were to close above the bottom of the box, that would be promising, 951. But we also know that there's both buyers and sellers that reside at the center of that box, which is only at 982. And that is where any type of counter trend move would run into resistance without this bullish reversal signal, without the cavalry signaling to you and I that, okay, it's ready to, to uh, proceed forward out here. So, so the call I would have, if you're long, I don't have a, a solid reason just yet for you to exit the trade, um, you know, you'd have to see, I don't have strong reasons to stay in it, but I wouldn't have you exit just yet because it's got some potential, it has some promise out here. But uh, you really wanna see it close above 982 to then suggest the run to 1109. What we don't have is, is uh, we don't have the setup like we looked at inside of Nordic American tanker, uh, tankers or carbo ceramics out here. Here we can see the nice roads momentum indicator top signal from a weekly standpoint. That was confirmed the week of August the 16th. We're in uh, count number for all intents and purposes, bar number seven of a TD setup nine count. So price may still head lower. And if you ask me on an intermediate term basis, where is OR headed to? Stevie will say 709. That's the last place that uh, price broke out. And so on the intermediate term time frame, you know, you've got a, a sell signal, you're trading below support. We don't see a, a true bottom signal on the daily time frame. And so Stevie says uh, that the, that the uh, charts say stay away. So take a look at the uh, resistance levels out there. Uh, the resistance level on a monthly time frame was 1278. And we can see that price tried to run up there in the month of August. September just simply completely backed off excuse me, trading below Stevie's uh, red line right now at 997. So longer term, John, the longer term charts have got plenty of damage out here and are suggesting some lower price. So I hope that helps you out with OR. I would uh, hold your horses. If you're looking for a long position, uh, go ahead and uh, join, uh, join Ray in uh, Carbo Ceramics as an example out there. So, again, I hope that helps you out. More questions coming in. Hey, thanks, folks, for sending in these questions. Makes it just like just like old times, just like seems like yesterday. Uh, Phil writes in, and uh, Phil wants to take a look at the GDX out here. So let me get that uh, populated, and uh, we'll go on and read Phil's question. He said, uh, tools have GDX trading between task, support, and resistance. That is true. Support, by the way, folks, on a daily basis will be 2682. Resistance, the top of the box, at 2774. This is a pause to refresh before it stages another attempt to overcome a double top out here. Uh, so the double top, um, let me just keep reading. He's referring to September 2016 and June 2019. Okay. Uh, this is a head and shoulders top. Uh, what's your view using your full toolkit? Okay. So let's just take a look at my toolkit out here for the GDX and see what it's communicating to us. So we already know price is trading in between support and resistance on a daily and a weekly time frame, that being the profiles. The weekly profiles are 26.72 up to 30 is the top of the box out there. And here, if you look at the monthly time frame chart, you're going to see the double topping-ish type pattern that uh, Phil was referring to, uh, which is the uh, top would be about the 3179 area. We take a look at the GDX out here on a daily time frame using Stevie's other tools. We know that it made a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top out here. 
uh, price is trading below Stevie's red line. Uh, that's a resistance level. It's really right around the top of that profile. Um, I say this has more of a potential for an A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, to set up a Gartley buy pattern. That Gartley buy pattern could, not saying it, it doesn't form until you get below 26, six, 2660 out there. We don't have any signs that that is going to happen. But the pattern that's more prevalent out here for me at the moment looks more like the A to B equals CD to the downside, which would be 2522, 2403, or maybe 2252 out there. Um, so that's what uh, this looks like. Of course, we know that in the case of GDX, uh, it's all about gold. What's gold doing? If we take a look at gold, it's really got similar patterns out here, trading between support and resistance. Support, the bottom of the box, 1472. Resistance at 15 1535. But real resistance out here has been Stevie's green line. You can see how this has contained price for the last uh, week and a half or so out here. And that's at 1508.70. So uh, and you've got the same type of a top out here inside of uh, gold. And so uh, this tool looks like it's a A to B equals CD to the downside. But it just looks like it right now. Because what it's really doing at the moment is just trading between support and resistance. And so if we say what's it doing, the answer will be not much. Now, if we look at the weekly time frame chart out here for the GDX fill, you've got that perfect roads momentum indicator top. And so we know I don't have the, prof uh, the profiles out here, but we know that uh, support at 2672 is a key level. This would say on a weekly basis, a close below 2672 and price is headed lower. This says you could even anticipate price pulling back to $20.28 on a weekly basis. That's where it last broke out. All Stevie's really saying here, the charts are communicating to you and I, is B, move Mucho grande, careful. Use those stops. Use some stops, please. Now, longer term, monthly basis out here, I don't have real top. I don't have any kind of top out here. So we're making our decisions based upon what gold is doing, based upon what uh, the daily and the weekly time frames are doing. If we take a look at gold priced in all the major currencies out here, they're all really doing about the same thing. Uh, which is trading, um, you know, what we see out here, when we take a look at this chart, we see a series of lower highs and lower lows. Let's look at it again. Let's look at the daily time frame where we have the roads momentum indicator top, just as we do on the weekly. And what do we see here inside of gold? We see lower highs and lower lows out here. So gold is in a downtrend, but trading between support and resistance out here, that's all that it is doing. So Phil, that's what I see when I use my little eyes to spy upon uh, the GDX as well as the gold contract. I hope that helps you out. Let's take a look at the next question coming in from Alex. Alex writes in, hey, Steve, IWM Russell 2000. So let me get the IWM rolling out here. And uh, let's do the IWM over here. And of course, you know we're going to look at the futures contract. Uh, but uh, Alex says uh, uh, the small caps have been the weakest in the current rally. Is this going to continue? Boy, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is it going to continue to rally? Is it continue to be the weakest? I don't know the answer to that question. But let's go see what it is that we can figure out when we take a look at the IWM. So what do we know about the IWM? We know that Stevie doesn't like to use the ETFs out here to uh, help assist us in what, uh, it, what, is, what, the, what the intention of the next move is. And the reason I don't is I hate using a small amount of information to make a big decision. And we trade the IWM, and you make your decisions on a ETF that trades six and a half hours, that's what you're doing versus looking at the futures contract. So let's go look into the future of the Russell 2000. We get back from this break. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger Fresh Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you'd like more information about the Tiger Fresh Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the Russell 2000 and uh, trying to get a feel for what it's doing. We're going to go take a look at the futures contract in a minute out here. But uh, what I wanted to show you was this chart here. It's a monthly chart. This way what we do is we get rid of some of the noise, Alex, out here. And what we're going to see is that, you know, I know you refer to it as the weaker of the indices out here, and I'm not going to to um, argue otherwise, but I want to also make sure that we keep this in the proper perspective. And the proper perspective is all that this has been doing, uh, what we'll call for a period of time, is trading in a consolidation. It's this little yellow rectangle that I put out here. And so we'll say that this consolidation, in essence, began back in February of 2019. So it's just trading sideways just trading sideways. That's all that it's doing. Not going to give us an indication that it's going to break down. Not saying that it can't break down or anything along those lines. But it's just trading in a sideways consolidation band. Now, speaking of the band, let's go ahead and strike up the band out here. Let's go take a look at the daily time. I don't even know what that means, folks. But if we were going to take a look at the drumbeat of the Russell 2000, and we were taking a look at where is support out here, and I just put this chart up on my screen, uh, and I were to ask you where is support for the Russell 2000, uh, I guess I'm, I'm so, I am I'm haven't done this for so long that I'm struggling to figure out. There we go. I'm just going to expand it out. So where is support and where is resistance? Or is primary support and primary resistance when you take a look at the daily time frame chart in the Russell 2000? You're exactly right. It's at 1465.20. That is where price broke out using the TD setup nine count system out here. And where did price pull back to? It pulled right back to support. It tested it the day of October 3rd. It tested it the day of October 10th. 
those levels have held. So support has held, prices above Stevie's red line. If we're really bearish out there, Alex, that's where price would have found resistance on Friday. You'd like to see a second day of confirmation out here. What transpired so far today is price pulled back to test Stevie's red line at 1502.50. There's a close above it today. This is suggesting that price wants to move higher, move higher to where? Well, we've got the intermediate term time frame resistance area set up by the TAS market profile. So we could say 1528.70, but more likely 1548.60, the top of that uh, daily profile. But uh, what you've got inside the Russells, you've got a nice bottoming signal from its daily time frame chart out there. What do you have inside the ES Mini? Inside the ES Mini, you have a nice bottoming signal. Well, where was the bottoming signal out here? Well, price two broke back or pulled back to its breakout level of 2875.25. Out here, it's in the process of making an A to B equals CD to the upside. The ES Mini did hit the one to one A to B equals CD price pattern on <clears throat> Friday. Of course, longtime listeners know that Stevie would never, I would never tell you to buy or sell the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. You must have some other type of a signal. Otherwise, it's just a pattern and it's a progressive tool, progressive, it's just simply a tool to measure and project where price might go. Not to just simply carte blanche sell the one-to-one -one because one 1.272 in the ES Mini is 30.14.67. And I can share with you right now, that is the message of the ES Mini is that it wants higher price out there. Now I know in the face of those of those that only pay attention to the cash indices or the ETFs, you have a different pattern out there. What do you mean you've got a different pattern? Well, let's do this here. Let's put up the SPY. Let me try to do that. I put in soy and that wasn't what I wanted to show you out there. And what people would do is they would say, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, Steve-O. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, this did form an A to B equals CD. Let's go take a look at that with a bearish reversal candle on Friday. And I would say you're absolutely correct. What do you mean bearish reversal candle? Well, if you look real closely, there were three candles, three Japanese candlesticks that formed on Friday. One was the shooting star. The second was a doji. And the third was a gap to the upside or a rising window. So let's take a look at each of those. Here's your A to B equals CD. You can see that. The actual price projection would have been 298.93. We don't worry about it hitting the exact uh, point out there. Um, so there's your one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. You get a shooting star out here. So that would be your bearish reversal signal. And I'm not saying that the market can't turn lower out here, but I don't want you to just take a look at Friday's candle in the S&P 500 or the spies and say, voila, you've got a shooting star. So let's just go sell the holy heck out of it, whatever that means, selling the holy heck out of it. Because if you're going to say that, then I'm going to come back and say, well, why are you ignoring the gap to the upside? The gap to the upside is a bullish signal. And Friday was a bullish message. Friday was a bullish message because price had overcome Stevie's red line out here. We know that when that line changes colors, the comedian in it says, hey, price and me, we're going to catch up to each other over the course of the next several trading sessions out here. And that line turned uh, red on uh, either October the 8th or it was really October the 8th when that uh, uh, line turned red out there. You saw on Thursday a test of that level was a test and rejection on Friday, a gap to the upside. And price just simply stopped where resistance was. If you take a look at the SPY, it's the top of the box at 298.45. In the ES Mini, it was the top of its profile out there. And so we have to say, hey, hold on a minute here. The message isn't as bearish or overly bearish as one might assume based on taking a look at a six and a half hour candle. And that's the key. A six and a half hour candle versus taking a look at the candle that was 23 hours long out here. And Friday's candle, we take a look at the futures contract. That ain't no bullish reversal candle. So I'm not saying that it can't happen out here, but the signals are suspect and just jumping on the short train out here. So Stevie says, don't do it. Don't do it.
Now, if we were to get a bearish reversal candle today in the ES mini, and we still could buy the contract close, that's a different story out there. But that candle, that did exist earlier in the session. It's gone right now. You can see that the open and the close, it's not the close, but where it's trading right now, are virtually the same. And so you've got another doji candle out here. So, um, you know, that's that. So, so coming back to the IWM and how do I put all this together, uh, again, use the futures contract. Get access to the futures contract. Sign up for the Nadex platform. You know, you can get access to it for free with, uh, I think you get a free account. Again, I, I, I don't know what their deal, what their program is right now, but gain access to the futures contract to assist you in understanding the pattern. So the patterns that I use here, if you like these patterns and their ability to help us identify tops and bottoms, wave number seven, TD setup nine count, the A to B equals CD patterns, then uh, if you like those patterns, then Use those on the futures contracts. Understand what's going on inside of the shorter term time frames to assist you. In the case of the Russell 2000 from a shorter term time frame, trade in between support and resistance. Resistance at 1516.70 right now and support at 1493.50. Really just kind of like the ES Mini and the NQ uh, as we looked at out there, but those are your support and resistance lines. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's use the uh, last two minutes here to uh, answer a question in the uh, Tiger's Den about the uh, DAX. And the question is, is it is it getting ready to break out to the upside? So let's take a look at the DAX. Now, you can see that, uh, and this is a correct closing out here, 12486.56. Remember that number, 12486.56. It's going to be a little bit different. We take a look at my white background charts. The DAX chart doesn't update until later on this evening. But the more important thing is this is going to be a second day in a row with the close above its breakdown level. So the DAX, using the TD setup nine count pattern, uh, broke down at the price point of 12,473.97. Today's close and Friday's close was above that. And what that suggests to me is that yes, it wants higher price. Now, in the case of the DAX, this thing moves lower into August 15th, creates the bullish reversal signal on August 16th out here. Here's your road's momentum indicator bottom. Proceeds to move right up into resistance, that 12,473 level. So now with price above that, says yes, it should move higher. We can see as we look back on the left-hand side of the chart out here, but we can saw there, see there's also resistance uh, on that bearish engulfing candle from July 25th up at the highs out here on July the 4th. Uh, so that really becomes the next target level when I take a look at the daily time frame chart for the DAX. If we look at the weekly time frame chart out here, uh, the weekly time frame shows what? The re weekly time frame for the DAX shows that uh, off of the December lows out here makes wave number seven. That's letter G. That was its high. Pulls back. So we know that the pullback on the daily time frame set up that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom out there. And now price is above Stevie's green line on the weekly. It was above the green line on the daily. Uh, that green line on the daily was resistance. That was the horizontal breakdown level out here. So all of this suggests if, in fact, price can get over the week of July 4th out there, that price point, let me get that for you. That price point is 12, 656.05. Then, yeah, price ought to run all the way back to the highs from May in 2018 in about the 13 to 04 level. Folks, thanks so much for joining me today. Stay tuned. A couple of great hours left. David White coming up, your favorite polar bear. Tom O'Brien will be at uh, be, be here from 3 to 4. And I'll do my best to be with you tomorrow from 1 to 2. Have a magnificent Monday. Take care.